Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you some basic TNT mechanics today, which you need to know for making um, factions cannons. So I'm going to show you how barrels work, um, how entities move basically, and also um, how triangles, how triangling works, aka like, well, why adjusts work, and also um, why you need two powers. So. If this is a stair barrel, stair barrels look like this, and the power gets boosted right here next to the stair. And that's that block there, that's where the power goes, right next to the stair. Um, essentially, what happens is you actually have this kind of slab thing, and you shoot the shot in, the stuff that needs to be shot out, gets pushed into the stair like this. It gets put on the stair where it's on the slab part. And if you look at its orientation to the power, it's up half a block and it's to the side half a block, but it's forwards a full block. So you can see that it actually has all three axes of what's called exposure, which means the power is gonna push it and give it velocity in those all directions combined, the three axes. So you might think then if the shot's here and the power explodes, it's gonna go up and diagonal in a line, kind of like that, where it's expressing all three of the velocities at the same time. But really, it doesn't. Um, the game actually breaks down, in every game tick, it breaks down that velocity, that combined velocity, into three components, one for each direction, and it processes them independently. So that's why, instead of going, you know, a perfect diagonal like this, you know, that's pretty bad, but instead of going a perfect diagonal, what happens instead? is it'll go straight up from the stair first and then it'll go to one side and then the other side basically so it'll make a shape like this so at the beginning of the game tick it was here and at the end of the game tick it's right there but it doesn't make a straight line it actually does these components in which is just one axis at a time of movement you don't see this because it happens before the frame renders but it does actually, it, they are calculated independently. So so then you can pretty obviously see how adjusting works. What you do is you just place blocks to stop the, the corners of the triangle at wherever you want. So what'll happen is it'll just go up until it hits a block or until it doesn't have enough velocity to get that far up, whichever happens first. So, so I'll just show you how that looks with something called breadcrumbs which just basically traces where the TNT goes so as you can see let me make sure the timeouts long enough it goes straight up from the stair up to here hits a block out to the side until it hits a block and then forwards until it hits a block which is the wall so you can see it's making that shape just like that so if you didn't stop it anywhere of course, it travels for more than one game tick, so the next game tick, it'll just do the same thing. It'll do Y first, and then one of the X or Z, and then it'll do the other one. So in the third game tick, it'll just keep going until it blows up or something. So if you don't guide it, it'll just keep going. If you do guide it, if you can't take out all the velocity going up, for example, it'll have no more velocity going up, so it'll still be making triangles in the additional game ticks, except it'll just not go up anymore because you already took out the up part. So the, the future path of this after that looks like this. And then with a normal cannon, what you're actually doing is you have another one here. And now the future path doesn't go up, it doesn't go to the side anymore either. So it goes straight every game tick until it hits the wall. So that's how um, adjusting works. So you might be wondering how the server knows which direction to go first and which direction to go next, because obviously if it goes up and then this way, it's very, and then this way, it ends up in the same place, but it's very different because you don't want your adjust to be over here. You want to be adjusting this way. You want your adjust to be like this, not this way. So even though it ends up in the same place, how does it know which way to do? Well, it used to not. Basically, 
in, in older servers, they didn't have what's called an east-west patch, and they were using vanilla mechanics, which on vanilla Minecraft, it's hard-coded where it goes, it does the Y first, and then it does the X, which is east and west, and then it does north, which is why you could only float east and west and shoot forwards, north or south, because you need you need the second thing after the Y to be the adjust direction. So if that's only if you can only do X second, it'll only be west and east you can adjust. But now of course you can turn your cannons the other way and you can float south and north and go forwards west and east. And the reason why is because of different velocities in the barrel. So if you have a barrel like this, you can see that it's a whole block forwards from the power, but it's only a half block to the side. And what that means is when the power explodes, it has a greater difference forwards than it does to the side of the power. So it'll actually give it more velocity on in this direction than it will in this direction. And how east-west patches work is after going up, the direction they go first is determined by whichever direction has less velocity on it in that game tick. So if if it's only half a block to the side here and a full block forwards, the half a block direction gets less velocity. So it'll go this way next, it'll go this way, and then this way last. So basically, um, I'm gonna have that off, and I'm gonna show you how, how specifically the uh, entity has like different velocities, and I'll show you how it's different for the left versus forwards. So it just shot out, and what that did is it just tracked every position and state of it during the game tick. And if I just do CHI1, so it this will basically show where that one piece of TNT is that I selected from this dispenser. It starts in front of it, it does the jump up animation, and then it starts falling. And basically, I only have to look at like around page 10. So, okay, so tick 73, it looks like it was, that's when it was on the stair here. And you can see like it's exactly um, one block forwards and half a block up and to the side, half a block, you can see that. And then the next block out, the next tick out, you can see, because I didn't have a, I removed the guider, it's like far out in the air and its actual location, this was the cannon, is like diagonal and it's also much higher, you can see it's at 475. So it went from here to here and if you look at the velocities, you can see that the Z, which is the the forwards, the actual forwards range to the wall, which I want it to do last, has a lot more velocity. It has it's going 517 blocks in one game tick, whereas the X is only 263. So it's actually about half because it was half the difference from the power as f the forwards, which is a full block. So you can see that it was doing X. It was definitely doing X first because which is this way. I wanted to do X first because that had less velocity to it. And that brings me to the next thing, which is drag. <laughs> so like as in slowing down, okay? So as I go through these game ticks, you can see that each next velocity, it's the same amount of time, but it's moving a little less. So it's going a little slower. So that's because every game tick, it just applies like multiplies those numbers by like 0 0.98, which makes it 2% less. So it slows down by 2% every game tick. So the first game tick is when it's moving the fastest, and then it just goes a little less distance every next game tick of flight that it has. And same with gravity. The uh, You'll see that the Y is actually decreasing a lot faster than the rest of them, and that's because in addition to like the... Uh, forwards like the air resistance simulated drag added to it it also has um like an additional negative value that's being added to it every game tick so it decreases a lot faster and eventually it'll become a negative number so it'll start going down and uh, be falling of course there's other types of barrels other than a stair um for example if you just had no barrel and you shot the shot in like this and it ends up here, right, next to the power. The problem with this is that it confuses the east-west patch because um, it's a block forwards and a block to the side. So 
basically it's going to get the same velocities on z and x or pretty much the same so basically the east-west patch isn't going to know if you want to float this way first or this way first so you might not your cannon might not work correctly if you have this so you really want a block that's not a full block but it it makes the forwards and left different so it could be like a fence because as you can see that's definitely less to the left and uh, it could be like cocoa beans but you need a tree to place that on and it could be like heads like this or a chest you see a chest is very little to the left so it won't give you very much velocity this way it'll only give you a little bit but it'll give you a lot more forward velocity because it's just a little closer to the power so there's different ones you want. If you want one with a lot that you can float really far, you do a trap door because it's still a little less. It's just this little bit less than one block to the side, but it really gets a lot of velocity to the side. So like I said, um, it'll go to the side or whatever direction until it hits a block or it runs out of velocity like what I said first, or not runs out of velocity, but exhausts all the distance that it's allowed to travel that it's supposed to travel in the game to given its speed so um what that means basically is the maximum adjust for this is 263 blocks as you can see because that's the x that it's going and it can go 263 blocks after the 263rd block that means it's going to be like you're not going fast enough to make it to the 264th block in one game tick and it'll just do the next one having not hit and hit this and it'll not adjust correctly so that's uh that's how adjust is related and of course if you have more power you get more adjust because it's going faster so it can go farther in the game tick and the last thing is just why you need two powers why you need to shoot stuff out twice for every shot to stack sand and if you pretend this is the wall basically how sand works and i'll explain in the future more about how sand stacking works but all you need to know for now is that you need a hammer which is like a tnt that that stacks the sand you need it to be above the sand because you need it to shoot the sand down to the floor so if it's in the same block as it if you shoot them together they'll be in the same block because they got compressed together and shot together if they're in the same block then when this explodes the sand's not really going to go anywhere because it it didn't have like a difference it didn't have a, like a direction difference to shoot it like if the hammer was below it it would shoot it up but you want it the hammer to be above it and in older cannons very old cannons what people used to do is they would just shoot once but they would have something like this which is called a guider and the hammer would f go in here would be down here when it got shot off and the sand would end up here and your power is here right so again it would triangle it would go straight up and the hammer would end up here and the sand would go straight up but it would stop a block lower and then it would go forwards out and they'd hit the wall because this caused them to be a block difference but what you could do is have filters where it would if you had a single block here you can't even shoot a single block because that'll separate the hammer and the sand will just keep going so and then it won't stack so what you want to do is do something called fusion you want to be able to shoot through a one by one hole so none of this you want to be able to shoot through a one by one hole with your adjust so if this is your adjust you want to go through the one by one hole but how do you get them to be a difference in height how do you get it down here when you're shooting the, through a one by one hole you shoot twice basically you shoot the sand in first with the first pulse of that the sand gets shot out and you wait two ticks because that's the time between the two powers you wait two ticks and the sand falls roughly a block at the wall and then you shoot the hammer in with the second power through the same hole but it ends up above it because the sand fell down and then you can stack the sand so that's basically why you need two powers so other than that um that's pretty much it for tnt mechanics and i'll see you guys in the next one